Intel making headlines at its first foundry event this morning. The company laying out a roadmap to become a leader in AI chips. Here with the details, we've got our very own tech reporter, Dan Halley. And Dan, uh, Pat Gelsinger bringing in some of the big names in AI to make this announcement. That's right, Akiko. Sam Altman, Satya Nadella, they're uh, both being uh, are, are a part uh, of this announcement. Uh, really, what we're, we're seeing here is kind of Intel pushing its foundry services uh, and AI. And they're basically saying, look, this is one of the first foundries uh, of the AI era. Yeah, you know, I mean, column A, column B, it's, you know, all kind of marketing at this point. Uh, but uh, one of the, some of the important things that, that Intel points out is they say that they're going to be the number two largest foundry in the world uh, by 2030. That's what they hope to do. That would be behind uh, TSMC. Uh, they also say that they believe that they'll regain process leadership with its 18A node in 2025. That means that they would be uh, kind of the go-to uh, company at that point. Uh, and they're also uh, announcing their new Intel 14A process, uh, adding that to the roadmap that they have. Previously, uh, it had stopped at 18A, and the one prior to that uh, was 20A. And I think, you know, when it comes to uh, the foundry business itself, they say that they're uh, unveiling an emerging business initiative where they're going to collaborate uh, with ARM to provide foundry services for ARM-based systems uh, on a chip. So they're, they're moving forward with, with this foundry idea where, you know, they're not just going to be building chips for themselves, but for third parties, similar to, to what TSMC does. And so that's where they believe that they can become the, the second largest foundry uh, in the world. And look, if they can pull it off, Whoa, that's impressive. Uh, but, you know, 2030, it's 2024. So you got six years to pull it off. So, Dan, given where they are now, I mean, Intel's foundry segment isn't a very large part of their business currently. Do they actually have what it takes to be number two in the world? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I, their, their foundry services is, as far as, you know, revenue goes, in the, the millions of dollars compared to billions for their data center and uh, their uh, uh, CPU uh, offerings for consumers and, and businesses. And so, you know, it's obviously not the, the big part of their business, but it is, it is growing to, to their, uh, you know, uh, benefit. And uh, Pat Gelsinger regularly mentions on investor calls after earnings that, you know, we have such and such a vendor who's working with us on Foundry Services, but he doesn't drop the names of those companies. And that's something that uh, investors, analysts have been hoping to hear more about, what these companies uh, are that are supposedly working with, or as Intel says, currently working with them, or, you know, working out deals to, to work with them. So, you know, I mean, they, they could uh, become a, a major player in the space if all goes according to plan. Now, you know, there've been some issues with the, the chip market as of late where companies have been pulling back on orders just because uh, there's been some issues uh, as far as, you know, there was uh, first a, a uh, too few chips, then too many chips. And, you know, the PC market started to, to struggle. Now it's starting to pick back up kind of, sort of, hopefully soon. Uh, and, you know, the, the AI market is really continuing to take off. We'll see if that can continue to do so. Um, but, uh, you know, if they manage to get all of their ducks in a row and continue to, to perform, uh, then they could become th this big foundry player. But, you know, right now, uh, like I said, it, it doesn't contribute much as far as, as, far as overall revenue and, and getting there is going to be difficult and will mean really getting more and more customers on board. And hopefully they tell us who they are. Indeed, because of course for now, TSMC really holding that crown uh, pretty steadily there. Appreciate you getting us up to speed, our very own Dan Howley.